Hey everybody, it's Lon Seib, and we are back with our monthly sponsored video from Plex. And this month, we're going to take a look at running a Plex client on the Steam Deck so that you can take your movies and shows with you just like you take your favorite games with you. This is a topic we haven't looked at just yet, but because the Steam Deck is running Linux, we can install the Linux desktop app on it and we can boot it up through the gaming interface here so we can get at it just like we do our games on the device. So we're gonna do a step-by-step -step guide in this one to show you how to get it set up. Now, before we jump into this, I do wanna let you know in the interest of full disclosure, this is a paid sponsorship from Plex. However, they did not review or approve what you're about to see before it was uploaded, and all opinions are my own. So let's get into it now and see how we can get Plex running on our Steam Deck. Now, as many of you know, there are two modes of operation to the Steam Deck. Right now, I've got it in the gaming mode, of course, which is where it usually is, and this is the full-screen Steam interface that is very easy to navigate. But because the Steam Deck is actually a full-fledged Linux PC, we can also jump into its desktop mode where we need to go first to get this installed, but we will be able to access it from the gaming mode in a little bit. So what I'm going to do here is go down to power, and instead of switching things off, I'm going to switch to desktop mode. And what this will do is exit the gaming mode here and go into a desktop interface. Now, I have a keyboard and trackpad hooked up through a dock just to make this easier to navigate. But what you get here is a full-blown desktop interface complete with an app store where everything is free. And what you'll find in there, along with Plex, is a bunch of other stuff. So what I'm going to do here is go down to this little uh, shopping bag icon. It's called Discover. And when you click on this, it'll pop up the app store, and you just type in what you're looking for. So I'm going to type in Plex. And there we go. Now, what I'm going to do here is install the desktop version of Plex. You could also install the home theater PC version. But the reason why I'm choosing the desktop version in this instance is because if you wanted to download media for offline viewing, the desktop version supports downloading, but the home theater PC version doesn't because that one is designed to work in a home networking environment. So what I'm going to do here is click on the Plex icon, and I'm going to click on Install. And that will go ahead and download the package and get it installed on my Steam Deck. So we're going to wait for that to finish installing, and then we'll pick it up from the next step. All right, so now that it's installed, I don't actually see it on the desktop here. But if we go into our Steam Start button and go over to Multimedia, we will see it over here. So what I'm going to do is actually get myself logged in and ready to go. And then we'll attach it to the Steam interface so that we can do more with it. So here we go. We're into the interface here. This is going to look a lot like the web-based version. On a Steam Deck, I don't think that's as big of a deal as it might be on a phone or something, just because we do have mouse controls built into the device. And again, the download option will be on the desktop version. So what I'm going to do next here is just sign into my Steam account. And once I get signed in, we will take it from the next step. OK, so I'm logged in, and everything is working as expected. I can browse all of my libraries. What I'm going to do next here is just minimize Steam for a second and jump over to the Steam client here on the desktop. And what this will do is it'll pull up your Steam client, a lot like it would look like on your desktop computer. And what we're going to do is add a game here at the bottom. And when I click this and go over to add a non-Steam game, what we'll get is a list of applications that are installed on here. And what I got to do is just scroll down until I see Plex. I'm going to check that off and add the selected programs. And now that that's been added to Steam, this will surface on the gaming side of the device. So why don't we jump back here, close out the Steam client, and I'm going to click on Return to Gaming Mode. And what this will do is essentially reboot our Steam Deck. And when it goes back into gaming mode, we'll now see Plex on our list of applications. So let's let this thing boot back up, and we'll take a look and see where we end up. All right, so we're back on the gaming interface now. And if I hit my Steam button and go over to Library and hit the right button here until we go over to the non-Steam section, what we will see is Plex here. Now, I have not figured out how to get the icon to appear. I'm sure there's some way to edit this, and I'm sure a lot of you will tell me how to do that in the comment section. But what we've got here is Plex, and I can click on Plex here and boot it up just like any other game or application on my Steam Deck. And I even have set up the mouse here. I'll show you how to set this up in a minute uh, so that I can use the trackpad even though we're still in the gaming mode here. 
And look at that, we've got our full Steam library here available to us, and I can go ahead and watch my latest episode of Bluey here. And like some of the other mobile versions of the Plex app, the download option is here if you have a Plex Pass, so you can go ahead and download it. And there are some settings here for downloads too, so you can have it download compressed versions if you want to save a little bit of space. There is a way to change the download location, but I think you have to jump into the config files through a text editor to do it. Uh, but as you can see here, I can adjust the quality down to something smaller if I want. Uh, remember the Steam Deck here, at least mine, doesn't have an HDR display or anything fancy. We've got 720p here, so we don't need the full-blown versions of some of the videos that we are watching. Let me show you now how to get the controller set up so you can use the trackpads as a mouse. So while the app is loaded here, if I hit the Steam button, that will pull up our options. I can go over to controller settings. And inside of the controller settings, you click on this button again, and then you can get over to how you set things up. I set mine up for mouse only, but you can use a few of the other templates here, like the gamepad with the mouse template. Uh, so there's a couple of different options you can choose. The touch screen will also work, so if you just want to touch your way to your movies and stuff, that is an option as well. So it works pretty well. Even though it is kind of the desktop style interface, it's usable and workable here on the Steam Deck. And media playback feels pretty nice on this. We'll take a look at a Blu-ray I've got on my server. This is the Jurassic Park 4K Blu-ray. This is actually a Dolby Vision disc, but it is able to tone map everything properly. It looks pretty good. This is a darker scene, but it does uh, look good in every scene that I've played back on it so far. Now granted, the Steam Deck display is only 720p, but the movies do play back really, really well on here, especially over the local network. So as a Plex client, I think this does quite well. It should, uh, given the fact that it's got a pretty powerful AMD processor, and this is, for all intents and purposes, a mini PC that you can carry around with you with a screen. And we all know how well mini PCs do with Plex, so this is a nice little addition to my repertoire here. One thing to note is that this is probably not gonna be an ideal Plex server. Obviously, you're transporting this around with you all over the place, and the AMD processor on board does not support hardware transcoding. So as a server, not so great. As a client, I think it works quite well. When you're ready to leave the Plex client, what you can do is hit the Steam button here and just go over to Exit Game, just like you would on a regular game here and that will drop you back out to your game selection menu. Now, if you prefer the home theater PC version of Plex, that works as well. You'll find it in the same app store that we were looking through earlier. Just search for Plex HTPC, and you will get this. And it works just like the TV interface might on other platforms. The only thing I noticed is that you're gonna need to map the arrow keys and the enter key and everything to your gamepad controls here. That's pretty easy to do within the Plex interface, very similar to how you would do it on a game, um, but it will require a little bit of control mapping here. But it works just as well, I think. Everything pops up very quickly here, just like it does on the other mode. Uh, the only note here is that you can't download stuff. So if you are looking for offline viewing, the other interface might be better, but this might be easier to navigate once you get everything dialed in uh, because you can use your D-pad and move around the interface similar to how you might on a television. So lots of options here. Everything seems to be working quite well on the Steam Deck. I'm actually pretty impressed by how well Plex runs on this, but it should uh, because this is, after all, a portable PC. And if you're carrying this thing around with you anyhow, you may as well throw Plex on it so you can get access to your media as well. I want to thank Plex for their ongoing support of the channel, and I want to thank you all for watching. We'll see you on the next one. Definitely let me know in the comment section what Plex topics you'd like for me to cover in the future. I'm always looking for ideas for this monthly series. Until next time, this is Lon Seibin. Thanks for watching.